If your plants have been struggling no matter how much compost you add, this might shock you. The real solution could be sitting right in your bathroom and recycling bin. Yes, something as simple as urine-soaked cardboard can completely transform dead, compacted, or nutrient-starved soil into rich, living earth bursting with microbial life and plant growth. It's cheap, powerful, and fast-acting. And unlike compost, it works even when you can't afford fancy fertilizers or wait months for decomposition. Once I tried it, my soil problems practically disappeared. Let's dive into how this surprising method works, how to make it safely, and why it beats compost in more ways than you might think. Most gardeners underestimate what's already freely available around them. Urine, for example, is loaded with nitrogen, the same vital element found in expensive fertilizers. When healthy and properly diluted, human urine contains around 10 grams of nitrogen per liter, along with potassium, phosphorus, and trace minerals plants crave. It's basically a balanced, fast-release organic fertilizer. Cardboard, on the other hand, is carbon-rich and highly absorbent. It acts like a sponge for both moisture and nutrients, creating the perfect carbon-to-nitrogen balance when combined with urine. When soaked, it holds onto nutrients, feeds microbes, and slowly breaks down into humus, enriching the soil structure and improving aeration. Together, these two simple materials create a natural bioreactor, one that mimics the efficiency of compost piles but activates soil health faster and with less effort. Compost is incredible, but it takes months to mature. It requires a balance of green and brown materials, regular turning, and patience. Even then, it can lose a lot of nitrogen to the air during decomposition. In contrast, urine-soaked cardboard delivers nitrogen directly to the soil almost instantly. It jump-starts microbial activity, wakes up dormant bacteria, and builds fertility right where plants need it, at the root zone. If your soil is compacted, sandy, or clay-heavy, Compost might take a long time to fix its structure. Urine-soaked cardboard works faster by loosening the top layer and encouraging earthworms and microbes to populate it, leading to visible improvements in just a few weeks. This method is safe, simple, and incredibly effective when done correctly. Here's exactly how to do it, step by step. First, collect clean, plain cardboard. Use only plain, non-glossy cardboard without any ink or tape. Corrugated boxes or egg cartons work perfectly. Cut them into manageable pieces, roughly the size of a notebook, so they absorb evenly and decompose faster. Next, prepare the urine mixture. Fresh urine is best because it's still rich in nitrogen. Always dilute it before use. The ideal ratio is one part urine to 10 parts water. For example, mix 1 liter of urine with 10 liters of water in a bucket or watering can. This dilution prevents salt buildup and ensures the nutrients are delivered safely to the soil and microbes. Then, soak the cardboard thoroughly. Place the cardboard pieces in the diluted urine solution and let them soak for 10 to 15 minutes. You'll notice the cardboard becoming soft and pliable. At this point, it's fully charged with nitrogen and ready to nourish your soil. After that, Apply directly to the soil. Lay the soaked cardboard flat over the soil where you plan to grow. You can cover it lightly with a thin layer of compost or topsoil to help it blend in. Over the next few days, moisture and microbes will begin breaking it down, releasing nutrients slowly and improving soil structure underneath. Finally, water regularly and observe. Keep the area slightly moist for the first week. Within two to three weeks, you'll notice earthworms gathering beneath the cardboard and your soil turning darker and looser. That's a sign that the microbial life is thriving. When the urine-soaked cardboard contacts the soil, an amazing transformation begins. The nitrogen from urine fuels microbial explosions, while the carbon in cardboard becomes their energy source. As microbes multiply, they feed on organic matter and convert it into humus, the rich, dark substance that holds moisture and nutrients. This microbial activity also unlocks minerals that were previously trapped in the soil, making them available to plants. Worms are drawn to the area, feeding on the decomposing cardboard and leaving behind castings rich in beneficial bacteria. 
The result? Softer, aerated soil that retains water better and supports stronger root systems. Over time, the cardboard disappears completely, leaving behind a crumbly, fertile layer that behaves like high-quality compost, only achieved much faster. Every successful organic fertilizer relies on the right carbon-to-nitrogen ratio. Compost usually aims for a ratio of about 25 to 1 to 30 to 1, but honestly, this takes some trial and error. Urine and cardboard naturally achieve a balance close to this when used together. The cardboard provides carbon, while the urine supplies nitrogen, creating a microbial feast that promotes rapid decomposition and fertility. This balance prevents nutrient loss and bad odors, which are common problems in poorly made compost. Instead, you get a clean, odor-free process that naturally restores the soil's ecosystem. This method works wonders in several situations. Reviving poor soil, especially sandy or depleted areas where plants struggle to grow. Starting new garden beds, just use it as a base layer before planting. Mulching fruit trees and vegetables by placing soaked cardboard around the base to feed the roots slowly. Boosting compost piles. Add a few soaked pieces to a compost bin to speed up decomposition. Now, you'll want to avoid applying it to very young seedlings or freshly germinated plants since the high nitrogen content may be a bit too strong at first. But for established plants or bare soil, it's perfectly safe. After using urine-soaked cardboard for just one planting season, gardeners often report, you know, dramatic changes. Dark, rich soil, faster-growing crops, and noticeably healthier plants. Roots become thicker and, well, foliage greener. Water retention improves, and even in dry seasons, the soil just stays moist longer. Unlike compost that may vary in nutrient content depending on what you add, this method delivers a predictable and balanced nutrient boost every single time. It also regenerates the microbial web in your soil, something chemical fertilizers can never do. Urine-soaked cardboard combines the best of both worlds. The instant nitrogen release of liquid fertilizer and the structural improvement of compost. It's renewable, free, and eco-friendly. It doesn't require turning piles, waiting months, or buying expensive additives. Most importantly, it helps gardeners close the nutrient loop. Instead of wasting resources that end up polluting water systems, you recycle them into your soil, feeding plants the way nature intended. The results honestly speak for themselves. Healthier soil, stronger roots, more resilient plants, and better harvests all from materials most people just throw away. Many gardeners wonder if using urine is safe. Well, the answer is yes, as long as it's from healthy individuals and properly diluted. Avoid using urine if you're taking medications that might leave residues. Always apply it directly to the soil or on cardboard, not on edible leaves or fruits. If you're hesitant, you can let the urine sit in a sealed container for 7 to 10 days before use. This aging process neutralizes any potential pathogens and reduces odor. Once soaked into the cardboard and buried under soil, it's completely safe and odorless. What makes this method powerful isn't just how fast it works. It's the mindset it represents. Nature, you see, wastes nothing. Every drop and fiber can serve a purpose. By recycling urine and cardboard, you're practicing regenerative gardening, returning nutrients to the earth in their most efficient form. In a world where fertilizer prices keep rising, this simple, cost-free method offers independence and sustainability. It's gardening at its smartest, using what you already have to create what your soil truly needs. When I first tried urine-soaked cardboard, I was skeptical. But within weeks, the difference in my garden was undeniable. Soil that was once hard and lifeless turned dark, soft, and alive. Compost couldn't do that in the same time. Now, I use this method every season, and my plants have never been healthier. If you're tired of fighting poor soil, give this a try. 
It's easy, natural, and backed by science. And once you see the results, you'll never look at cardboard or waste the same way again. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Growth Hub Central Crops on YouTube for more powerful natural gardening tricks that save money and supercharge your soil. Share this video with a friend who loves gardening, because everyone deserves to grow abundance from the ground up.